Hi Leo, so welcome to my channel. This is Rogue Tarot, getting right into your June monthly love reading, Leo. I just saw the Three of Hearts and the Six of Pentacles. Maybe some pain that you're trying to heal from this month is kind of hard to do. It's fair to say to embrace your masculine energies a little bit more this month to balance yourselves out. You could be working a lot if you can. If you cannot take time off, try to take a walk or go to a park here. But anyway, this is a love reading, so you're kind of closed up. You're you're closed up, Leos. Could be dealing with the Cancer or Sagittarius. If this is not your energy, this is this person's energy. It's like their intentions, my intentions was never to walk away from this. Which is why they see balance in the future here, but not right now. And again, we are a new moon and Gemini energy. Could be dealing with the Gemini. It's fire sign wanted to come out. This Queen of Swords, you know, it's kind of like you let your guard down one too many times and now it's like I don't want to be bothered by anybody. You're tired to take advantage of when it comes to love and you feel like this person was really your person. And it's just like, why can't I get it right? And it's because there's some past energy uh, that you need to heal in regards to love that you need to walk away from. You know, your mission this month is to heal that inner pain that you still feel. And that's by pouring into your passions here. And again, getting grounded. I'm gonna pull a new moon message. Yeah, it's time to take action. It's time to take action. Yeah, balance again. Time to balance spirituality and practicality. So, you know, get moving here. Like I was saying, get grounded, get practical. Um, you know, embrace this page of Pentacles energy. Set a goal on what you want in love and take the steps to do that because you can manifest a strong and burnt energy. You know, you you can manifest exactly what you want, but you have to believe that you can get it, Leos, right? So there's a there's a fire sign very soon. There's new love that's trying to come in. That's why Spirit is saying clearly decide on what you want. Like I said this month, you know, write it down here so that it comes to you now. We also have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yeah, because right now, you like some of you, your guard is like, hell no, like, I'm never giving into love again. And this cat is looking like, why are you so evil and bitter? Like, you got to get it together, Leos. You guys know I'm an honest reader. I'm going to tell it like it is. So it's time for you to put yourself first, love yourself first. Because what's going to happen is that there's a um, full moon. Uh, I believe it's June 16th. And um, that releasing for you, Leos, if you, you know, don't try to plan on work now, it's going to be a little brutal. So I'm trying to bring awareness into staying present and focusing on you. We also have children. Your love life is being affected by children. You could have children. You could be scared to date because you have children here. We have wedding. The situation involves marriage. Yeah, very soon. Some, there's a long-term relationship that's coming in. This new person could have a child or you're going to be looking for a, like not a, like a parental figure this person is going to match your energy like you're going to be so smitten it's going to blow your mind right your true love is definitely trying to come in you could potentially meet this meet them this month it's just all in what you want to do so it's time to take action you want to keep staring at the past here leos or do you want to take action set some goals here you know, pick this chariot up off the ground because you're falling off the wagon and set a goal with the Page of Pentacles and walk away from this past and things that's no longer serving you, right? There's that Aries energy. So clarify the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, have some fun. Get out the house. Y'all getting them on this. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I feel like someone's friend said to one of you guys recently, like, get out the house. Like, stop being, like, um so close off have, go out have some fun yeah set some goals here turn that chariot up right there's also uh energy here from the past that wants to talk to you um that <laughs> i feel like they're gonna tell you that they 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 like you they they wanted something with you but there was some financial issue that something in their ego and pride like they wanted to take you out and they didn't have the finances to do it so they kind of pulled away here so it's like the death card energy scorpio energy they want to come in and try to resurrect this with the chariot you know get this thing back together with you know and tell you what it was but they can never get they never got over you or over how they felt when they were with you it's like a 
Decoration of Love. Yeah, Boat. Yeah, Love Call. Yeah, de yeah, Decoration of Love. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Yeah, because someone's... <laughs> Someone very soon. That's what I was saying. It's all about the choices that you make and what you want to balance out, Leos, because you can definitely uh, have it all this month, you know. But it's but you're blocking yourselves. You know, your heart chakra is blocked. Get by some water if you can, Leos. You have Ace of Pentacles energy, Five of Pentacles in reverse, and Ace of Swords. You have to be honest with yourself. Before someone can be honest with you, like I feel like you demand honesty so much, but are you are you, are you honest with yourself? Someone's spirit guides is like really like harsh on you, Leos. But they they're just doing our love. They someone's hiding their true feelings about you too, which is why this love call is coming in. They they realize who you are to them now, which is why they want to work on things. You know they were petty. You know. Um, I'm getting they were immature with their words. They did they really didn't just didn't know how to communicate. And that's what ended things here with the death card. So it's like I see why you have your guard up. You're just tired of shit not happening. But again, this person is not for you for some of you. Your true love's right here. So let this guard down, release the past, right? So things can balance out with the justice card. And again, ju this justice card, this major arcana is gonna help you balance out. Yeah. So it takes some time, Knight of Pentacles, Emperor Energy for you to like have this shift. But when the full car always arrives in a in a in a tarot deck is when um, someone has learned a lesson and they're ready to move forward. So Temperance Energy, Sagittarius Energy, things are gonna balance out. Be patient with yourself as you go through this. But justice has you, and justice is gonna take as long as um, this energy can to push you through, right? You know, because if you see this imagery here, the fool, the Knight of Pentacles is facing this way, the fool is facing this way. They're not even looking at their next step, right? So the Justice card is here where it's like they don't want you to just walk off this cliff and just be all chaotic and stuff. You know, they want you to properly plan here. That's why that Emperor energy is there. Emperor energy conquers all. Yeah. I mean, for some of you, this past person, yeah, they're going to have a love call and everything, but you're done. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about this. So again, it's, you know, it might be a little disappointment this month around the full moon time. But, you know, again, if you want that stability and structure in love, you have to gain that stability and structure within yourself. Okay. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship. It is truly sacred. When it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Yeah, so that's what Spirit is saying. Like, don't be so hard on yourself. You're so hard on yourself to the point that you're overwhelmed. Like, I'm stupid. Why can't I never get it right? Like, don't belittle yourself, Leos. There's going to be a win in this where you're going to have the confidence to, again, you know, eventually get into this Queen of Wands energy and move forward. You're going to get there. You're going to see the wins. And that's why Spirit is saying very soon, love yourself here. You know, your self-respect makes you romantic attractive because you're going to, I'm telling you, you're coming across the soulmate, clarify this Queen of Swords, get out this pride and ego. Because you're, you're making yourself chaotic in your mind for no reason. Stay present. Stay present in the, in the present moment. Okay. Any other advice for my Leos? Your commitment is being tested, yeah, to yourself here. Prosperity lies ahead. And then we have what do you need to release? Ask yourself that. And look, a win-win for outcome is in the forecast. So stop playing with me, Leos. Anything else? Yeah, new phase. Definitely a new phase here. Renew, transformation, growth, change, mind. Anything else? One last card for love. Two cards. Strictly sexual, this connection is passionate but not enduring. Someone feels remorse for, remorse for the way they treated you. And then they're, again, coming in with that apology I was talking about, Leo's, all right? I'm going to leave it there, guys, and have a wonderful week.